The supraspinous fossa below the spine, the infraspinous fossa. Okay? So the, the spinous fossas are on the spine side. Glenoid fossa, and then the subscapular fossa is anterior. This is the anterior side. So you could put some Skittles in there. That's the subscapular fossa. Alright? Next with the borders. So if I know this is lateral right here, this is a left scapula, this thing going straight down, right here is going to be my vertebra right here. So this is the vertebral border or the medial border, right? And then my arm side right here, this border right here would be the, what? Lateral. Lateral or auxiliary border, you know, is one of them too. And then the, the top or the superior border, is this the superior border? No, this is the spine. The superior border is right here, okay? And it dumps into the scapular notch right there. Okay, so there are four fossas on here, supraspinous fossa, infraspinous fossa, glenoid fossa, and there's the subscapular fossa. The processes, a chromium process, and the cora, what is it? Coracoid? I always mess it up. Coracoid, yeah, coracoid process. Okay, so that's done. All right, next, arm. So I know that the arm is gonna be into that glenoid fossa right there, okay? So I know that the head has to be facing medial. So does it go on like this, or does it go on like this? Oops, like this. So if I turn it this way, okay? Does it go on like this? And I'm gonna turn it this way, or does it go on like that? Like this? No. Okay. Why? Because of this part right here. What goes right here? Your elbow. Okay? Your elbow goes there. Are your elbows in the front or in the back? They're in the back, right? The elbows are in the back. So it has to go like this. So the only way it works, it works like this. So I have a left humerus. There's my left humerus. Okay? So this thing right here is the olecranon fossa that's facing posterior. Here's my head facing medial. Okay, so I know that the head is medial. So that means down here, this is medial too, right? So this is the medial epicondyle on the same side as the head. Medial epicondyle right here. So that means the opposite side right here, there's the lateral epicondyle. Lateral epicondyle. Medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle. Okay, let's go back to the head. So the head for the humerus is proximal. It's close to the body. All right, so let's go right here. Opposite of the head, so here's the head. Opposite, there's this big ridge of bone right here, big. So the greater tubercle, right next to it, little lesser tubercle. Greater tubercle, lesser tubercle. In between, there's like a little groove in between the tubercles. So the intertubricular groove right there. In between groove, intertubricular groove. And if I stick my pinky in the groove and I move down, it gets rough. That's what kind of muscle am I going to go right there? Deltoid tuberosity. There's a deltoid tuberosity and it feels rough. Okay? Now I'm going to go distal in. Okay, so on the distal end. So all the stuff down here is best named after the structures that hook up with it. So this is the ulna. Okay, so anatomical position. Here we go. Anatomical position. My, my arms, my palms are facing forward. Now I, I do a little hang ten thing right here like this. So my thumbs are facing lateral and my pinkies are facing medial, right? So my rat, my thumb, like your rad man, your rad, so that's the radius right here. Your thumb is touching the radius. And your pinky right here is the medial side, so the pinky is the ulna. Okay, just remember rad, your rad radius, and the other side is the ulna, okay? So the ulnas are facing medial, the radius are facing lateral. Okay, so, here we go. So here's my, here's my ulna, pinky side right now, pinky side, pinky side, lateral. Okay, so here we go. Starting off, here's the, what kind of condyle is that? Even. You're gonna know. Yeah. Yeah. Medial epicondyle, right? Medial because it's the same side as the head. Okay, medial epicondyle. Right here, right next to it, there's this hinge thing right here. It's smooth. That's the trochlea. 
That's the trochlea. And the trochlea is going to hook up with this part right here on the ulna called the trochlear notch. So they're named after each other. The trochlea and the trochlea notch. Okay? Now above the trochlea notch is this little fossa right there. The coronoid fossa. Yes, the coronoid fossa. Yes. I always get coracoid and coronoid. Coronoid fossa. So here's the trochlea. You see the part of the ulna that touches the coracoid fossa? Coronoid fossa? This is the coronoid process. That bridge right there is touching the coronoid fossa. So those are the coronoids. Process and fossa. Trochleas. Trochlea, trochlear notch. Okay? Next, your elbow. So here's posterior, right? So this thing, remember, is the olecranon fossa. And your elbow, which is the olecranon process, hangs out in there, right? When you stretch out your arm all the way. Olecranon process, olecranon fossa. Okay? So there's my ulna. Okay? What goes right here? Right here. My radius, okay? So where does the head go? The head goes right on this ball right here. It's like a ball. That ball is called the capitulum. The capitulum. Right above the capitulum is a very small fossa, not as big as the coronoid fossa, but smaller. And on the radial side, right? So that's the radial fossa. Because the radius is going to touch it, right? The head of the radius. When you bend your arm, right? It's going to touch right there. So the radial fossa is lateral, and the coronoid fossa is medial. Okay? Alright, next. Let's do the lower arm. Here's the lower arm right here. There's my lower arm. Okay, so I know red side, there's the radius, okay? And my ulna side is medial on the pinky side. All right, now you gotta remember that the heads are opposite. The heads are opposite. So here is the head of the radius. Where is the head of the ulna? On the opposite side. Head and the head, okay? Notice how the head of the ulna is very small. People are saying, oh, this is the head because it's big. No, this is the head. Okay, so now, wherever the heads are touching, it's named after that head. So this is the head of the, this is the head of the ulna, and it's touching right there. So the head of the ulna, this is the ulnar notch. So the ulnar notch is on the radius, right? It's where the ulnar head is touching. Okay, how about up here? Here's the radial head, and it's touching the radial notch on the ulna right there. Okay? Next. Down here. Go. Now, so this is um, distal. So this is right here where my, my uh, wrist is right here. Okay? So here's the head. The head of the ulna is distal. The head of the radius is proximal. So go towards the distal ends of those two bones. These little things sticking out, they're pointy things. These are the styloid processes. And they're opposite. The end.